I know you have your examinations this week. I'm wishing you all the best on your examinations. So let me first take the time out to say that you've been doing the practice and I know you have this covered. I'm just sharing another video, which is part two of the map performance task that was uploaded about profit and loss. So I want you to stay tuned till the end of this video so you can see how the remainder of the questions were solved. This is part two of the mathematics performance task. So here we're going to be drawing the bar graph using the data of the number of items sold. So here's what the bar graph should look like. So we have the title top, top shop sales, and we have the number of items sold, and we have the type of items sold. So the juice box was sold 20 times, and the sandwich was sold 15 times, the chips was sold 18 times, and the cookie was sold 22 times, and the food crop was sold 10 times. And you could also break down each of these five spaces so you can have the intermediate spaces to show exactly 22 and 18 but i did it just this simple way so that's an example of what your bar graph should look like all right so let's move on to part three question five percentage increase and decrease the school wants to increase the selling price of juice boxes to from $80 to $100 next month. And we can see the formula for the percentage increase here, which is the new price take away the old price over the whole old price times 100. So let's work out the increase. So remember the new price was 100 and the old price is 80. So we will put the old price, subtract the old price from the new price and put it over the old price and multiply by 100. And we saw we got 20 over 80 multiplied by 100%. And this is 0 0.25 multiplied by 100, which is equal to 25%. So that was the percentage increase. Let's look for the chips. It said the price for the chips will be reduced from $120 to $100. Calculate the percentage decrease and the same formula applies. So let's calculate the percentage that is decreased. And for the chips percentage decrease, we have the old price, which is 120, and the new price, which is 100. And then we're subtracting the old price from the new price over the old price which is 120 and then we multiply by 100 so we'll get 20 divided by 120 divided by 120 multiplied by 100 and then we'll get 0 0.16 and it's the six is reoccurring so we'll, we'll round it off multiply by 100 and run it off to seven so it's 16.67 percent. All right, so now we're on part four, which is budgeting the lunch money for the week. So you have 5,000 for lunch per week. Use the top shop prices to create a lunch budget for five days, ensuring that you buy at least one food item per day and your total spending does not exceed $5,000. So you're writing your budget in the table like this. So let's look at what could be done for Monday. 
So you could get a sandwich and a juice box and a chip. So see how that works out. Sandwich. Juice box and a chips. So the sandwich is 150 plus the juice box is 80. Right, let's, let me just check if I'm using the correct. Yes, yeah, the correct updated prices. Yes. So I am. Um, and the chips is one hundred and twenty dollars. So therefore, that would be three hundred and fifty dollars so far. And for Tuesday, you could have two cookies, a fruit pop, fruit box, a fruit cup, sorry, and a juice box. And that would be 120 plus one eighty for the juice box and the food cup. So therefore that would be because the full cup is 100 and the juice box is 80. I just added them together. And that would be 300. On Wednesday, I could have a chips, a sandwich, and a food cup. Chip sandwich and a fruit cup and I could also have a fruit box a juice box sorry I accidentally Clicked in Tuesday's space. So let me put that back to Tuesday. And this would be Wednesday now. All right, so this cost here for the juice box and the full cup, we know that is 180. And then we can add the chips, which is 120, and the sandwich, which is 150. And that would equal to $450. I believe we're still in budget. Let's move on to Thursday. We could do the same thing for Monday for for Thursday and that will give us back the same 350 and then for Friday I could do same thing for Wednesday but add cookies what have I not bought as yet let me check I pretty much bought everything on the list yes 
So let me put in a two, two cookies here. All right, so if I have the same thing on Wednesday, that would be $450 plus the two cookies, which is $120. And again, my total must be less than or equal to 5,000. So I'm gonna do my calculation now. So this is $670.670. So I'm gonna do my calculation now. So I have 350 plus 300 plus 450 plus 350 plus 670 and that would be Two thousand one hundred and twenty, which is less than five thousand. So I'm way under budget. So there you have it. That's the end of the second half of the map performance task for watching the video all the way to the end and again all the best on your examination and don't forget to go through all the videos in the playlist because i've covered all the past papers that were done for the language arts and mathematics performance task so i have one last video to upload which is how you should structure your essay so you don't want to miss that video also. And that's the wrap up for the performance task prep. And then we're gonna move into the curriculum based prep, which I know you're going to be staying tuned to. So until next time, bye.